YouTube, Secret Games, and I'm back bringing you another tutorial. And I'm about to teach you a really simple little trick that you should probably already know by now, but if you don't, it's a pretty little cool thing. I'm going to teach you how to make your own logic, okay? So, what you're going to need is one microchip, one battery, and any other logic that you want to make your own little logic, okay? So, let's get rid of that, because we don't need that anymore. So here, I'm going to put a cardboard box, right? Okay, so I'm going to pull out a microchip, alright? And this is just kind of going to make your logic. Alright, so you just put all your logic inside of here. For example, let's say, uh, you want to... For example, let's say, uh, you want to make, uh, make the analog stick inverted or something, or the D-pad inverted, so up means down and down means up left means uh, right and right means left just go ahead and make logic for that yeah there you go and then get a battery plug it in there and you can go ahead and delete the battery and then you're gonna need another just any piece of logic, I guess, that I can, like, uh, use an output. Delete that. There you go. You got your logic. You made it. So right here, um, if you can tell, um, just got a controller. Um, let's see, uh, how can I do this? Um, okay, so it's... Hmm. Okay, so to prove that it's, um, I'm holding down, down means up, and up means down. Alright, I'll have to go ahead and change that if I get rid of this uh, little analog inverter right here. And I just go ahead and put the regular analog stick onto it. Down will mean down, and up will mean up. As so. So there's just like one little uh, test piece of logic right there to show you how this works. And you can go ahead and add your little own sticker to it. That should be easy, pretty easy to make. Little own sticker onto there. As you'll see. And there you go, you got your own little piece of logic like that. Very simple. So then, uh, you can do different examples. I'll show you some different examples. So, get ready for example number two. Okay, I'm back with part two, or the second example. And let's see if I'm to make it something so, uh, it repeats, uh, thing, okay? So, um, you want it to go repeat itself, like when you're holding X or something, it'll just go like, tap it like really quick, like quicker than you might be able to tap it or something, right? Just by just holding X, it'll make it like, a tapping input basically. So let's say so I want to do that. Let's make sure that works. There we go, it does. Okay, cool. And, um, battery, or, you know what, it doesn't have to be a battery, it can be any piece of uh, logic or something. We got the output. But yeah. Let's say yeah, here's a good picture for that. K 
give this color and I'll attach X to it, right? So it'll um yeah, let's see as an example. Uh, warning, uh, epilepsy warning right here. This might cause the, um, shaking of the of the human body, cause seizures, every a thing. So I'm just holding X, as you can see, by the little blue light. I'm not tapping it myself. All the tapping it won't give the same output, I guess. But yeah. Yeah, you can hold X, it'll just do the output. Well, that's another example, I guess. Alright, so for the example I'm just going to randomly think of while I go. So, I want to make this one go by uh, two outputs, okay? So, let's say um, you want one of them to be, uh, I don't know. Let's say you want like one of the outputs to be like 50% or... Uh, like what it should be, right? For example, I'll, yeah, I'll give you I'll give you a pretty good example for what this can do. So let's say you want it to be like a thirty-four percent of what it would be, right? Or what it should be. Like a certain button will be a thirty-four percent of like an output, and the other button will be I don't know, eighty-three percent uh, of what the output should be, right? So what you do here, if you want, you can try to go ahead and color code these to like uh, justify what button does what color, right? Or what button does like what color does what thing. Although I won't think I don't think that'll matter in the long run because when it's closed, you won't even tell there. So you want to have also uh, two different batteries. Or like for as many outputs, you gotta have the that different amount of that batteries, right? So have a diff much different outputs for when you uh, go ahead and close it. So the top one's thir uh, thirty-six or something, and the bottom one will be like eighty-three or something. That's how I remember it being. Um, this was this color. Oh my god. This glitchy ass piece of crap. The pop it's even broken. Got a plan B sticker, why not? Okay, so here, this is this is how this would work. Get a piece of sticker panel, make it dimmer, and then you attach an or gate or something. So X, as you can tell, will only be like 34% of what it is, right? And circle will be a bit brighter, right? So yeah, that's that. You can go ahead and just play around with that a little bit. Like let's say you want X to be a bit even darker. Like 5%. And this one can be like 60% or something. Oh yeah, because it's so dark, right? it's about the same color as the background here. Okay. So, yep, there's that. So that's just another example of what you can do. You can go ahead and mess around and add the craziest stuff inside of there, but that's how you make your own logic, right? Input, output, simple as that. Very easy. So, yeah. Uh, have fun with playing around with this, and uh, go eat a pine cone, and step on a Lego. Goodbye. Push hard!